Let's start with the basics. In this video, I'm going to show you what you get when you buy an Evo X remote and what it even means. So let's look at the parts. You have the hand remote, magnet on the back, up and five, up five, down five buttons, three turn dial, on button, you have the charge block for charging your hand remote. You can also use any other USB port since the hand remote charges at 440 milliamps. Um, commonly, the lowest amperage rate on a USB port anywhere is 500 milliamps. Charge cord for your hand remote. Four stickers. And the receiver. The receiver has two magnets on the back. Vent port, gland. This is what it looks like inside. One twenty plug. It's not cooperating. Serial number. And this is for Advantage 300 going in the mail tomorrow. Uh, six pin. Can you see this here? So what you see here is what you get if you own a machine and you want this setup to work on it. So if you're American, I'll show you the website and this is what we're talking about. You go to shop. And it's the second one right here. Pictures are a bit different. But the key point is Evo X remote set. Which is currently priced at the publishing date of October 16 of this video. 1,150 USD. Now, someone Canadian could use my website to order this, um, but they would be charged 1,150 USD. If that happens, I would email you immediately or text you with the local price and tell you whether there is any partial refund to be had because the preferred method of payment for Canadian customers is e-transfer. So So this is what you get. You could always plug it in. This is what I would do if I receive this in a mail. 
I'd plug it in a house before you get to your machine. Notice the DC lights on. That denotes it's getting power. And then I would confirm that it's working with the hand remote. And what I mean by working is if you see numbers on it, it's working. These numbers, battery low, hold on. These numbers are from the receiver. And what that means is when you're using the three turn dial, it is sending right now a nine bit value. So a number between zero and 510. The receiver does the math and sends you the real life amps. This one here is probably 330. As a rule, I send every remote out at 30 and 300. So what you just saw is I just plugged the receiver in. It confirmed that it's getting power. And I confirmed that we're getting numbers. Do you know how you tell when a hand remote's charging? See that light right there? That's how you tell a hand remote's charging. Let's unplug it. And when it's done charging, that light goes out. Now, a fully depleted hand remote charges overnight. So that's all I have for this video. This would be uh, a video I made, which I will send to anyone initially asking about a remote set from this point on. I think what I'll do in a few days is I'll make the same video for the plant setup, which is a bit different. Thank you very much.